Hello, everyone, my name is Ji Yoon Lee. Today, we will discuss the components of the posterior stabilized knee prosthesis. 1. Femoral Component Femoral cam mechanism, this mechanism interacts with the tibial post to mimic the function of the posterior cruciate ligament. It helps in achieving proper rollback of the femur on the tibia during knee flexion, enhancing the range of motion and stability. Anterior flange, the anterior flange covers the front part of the femur. Posterior flange, the posterior flange extends to the back of the femur. 2. Polyethylene tibial insert. Tibial post, the tibial post is a vertical projection that interacts with the femoral cam mechanism to provide stability and facilitate proper movement of the knee joint. Bearing surface, this articulating surface contacts the femoral component. It is designed to withstand the forces of daily activities and reduce wear. Backside, the backside of the tibial insert interfaces with the tibial tray. It must be designed to lock securely into the tray, preventing micromotion and enhancing the implant's longevity. 3. Tibial Component Tibial tray, the metallic tibial tray acts as the foundation for the tibial insert. It is typically made from a durable metal alloy and provides a stable base for the polyethylene insert. Keel, the keel is a stabilizing feature of the tibial tray. It extends into the tibial bone to provide additional fixation and stability, reducing the risk of implant loosening over time. 4. Patellar Polyethylene Component Patellar pegs, the patellar polyethylene component typically includes patellar pegs, which help anchor the component to the patella. These pegs ensure proper fixation and alignment of the patellar button, allowing it to glide smoothly within the femoral groove. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like it.